Hey guys, today we're gonna play Tic Tac Toe Toss. We're gonna be using our trusty socks again. So you'll need like three or four, maybe even five of the white and three or four or five of any other color. You can play with pattern socks versus white socks um, just so you can differentiate between the two. We're gonna be using an underhand toss technique. Uh, so let's review how to do that now. Let's review how to underhand toss. We are going to take our sock in our dominant hand, the hand that you write with. We are going to swing it forward, swing it back, step, and toss. Let's try that one more time. We are going to take the sock in our dominant hand, the hand that we write with. We are going to swing it forward, swing it back, step, and toss. Here's the rules of the game. You're going to alternate throwing using that underhand toss we just practiced, trying to get three of your pairs of socks in a row. That can be uh, vertical, that can be horizontal, or that can be on any of the diagonals. And you're just going to take turns alternating and throwing. This is the game board. It's four towels rolled up vertically, laid on top of each other, two horizontally and two vertically. today so I'm going to demonstrate by myself but the white sock team would go first so I would go forward back step and toss trying to land in one of the sections of my board then the other team would go forward back step and toss trying to get in a different square back to the white team forward toss step and throw so I've currently made it in the upper X box and in the middle box. Black team's turn. They are going to try and block in this bottom corner. Forward, back, step, and toss. White team's turn. Here we go. Forward, back, step, and oh no! I landed in a square that was already being used. So I can go ahead and grab that pair of socks and remove it from the game. Black team's turn. Pick up a pair of socks, forward, back, step, and toss. White team's turn. Forward, back, step, and toss. You can use your judgment if a pair of socks rolls off the game board as to if you want to put it back in the square or as if you don't want to count it. Black team's turn. Here we go. Forward, back, step, and toss. And now, black has three in a row in the upper squares. Let's take a look at the game board. These are the three socks that I got in a row. This means that the black team has won. Other ways to win would be to make a line in this direction or on the diagonal. And that's how we play. It's just gonna alternate taking turns, throwing into the game board which is just two lines vertically and two lines horizontally. You can use um, anything you've got. You could use a pair of leggings, you could roll up t-shirts, you could roll up um, baby blankets. If you've got big poster paper, you can just draw the tic-tac-toe game on uh, a big poster paper. And then um, alternate throwing with a family member, trying to see who can get three in a row first and challenge yourself. See how far away from the game board you can play. I obviously don't have a huge space behind me to, to demonstrate in, but you could stand 10, 15 feet away from your game board if you can play in a hallway. Just remember to use that technique when you throw, swing that arm forward, back, step, and toss. And most importantly, have fun.